formless, shapeless. Like okay, so hello, my no meaties. Is that a little corny? Mm, just a tad. So don't use your phone and drive, especially in the state of Texas. So, but I'm gonna just break the law a little bit because I'm just overly excited to share with y'all you know, this video that we're going to be uploading of my head to chest assessment that we do in our health assessment class. And, you know, I just really want to show people how it's kind of done in the most basic format because a lot of schools, you know, they're just not constructed properly. Some teachers just kind of expect you to learn on your own. And that happens to a lot of nursing students, regardless whether they're yeah, at a private institution, you know, a private program or a, um, you know, just like a state school, it really doesn't matter. Nursing school is not perfect, it's, it's hard, it's tedious, and sometimes, you know, you just have to put in that extra oomph just to kind of teach yourself. And, you know, just because I am a transfer student, it has became just a little bit easier to kind of put and formulate the information together. But even at that, I still sometimes struggled with how the information is supposed to be presented or how we're supposed to vocalize that. Um, you know that information um for example when you're listening to the lung sounds you're auscultating correct so after you auscultate you was uh you, you would say something like um posterior and anterior um lung sounds are clear bilaterally upon upon auscultation that is the clear way to format it and a lot of people just don't know they might know how to do the movements and not really know how to document it verbally or it's vice versa they might not you know they might know how to verbalize it but they don't know where exactly to look where are the exact location of the assessments and just to kind of have it flowing in the right verbiage to use you know so that is the purpose that we uploaded this video but um so today you know it was a long day Last night, I um, basically stayed up till about one o'clock studying for my exam. I am one of those students that studies, 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 and closes them inside the house, which is not healthy sometimes, and you know, drinks a bunch of energy drinks, healthy ones, yerba mate is the key. And so I just, I just, I just have this motto that if you put everything that you can, all your time that you have extra time, you didn't waste anything, you studied properly in and between the lines of every information in the book, powerpoints anything any resource that you have you know and you gave it your best and let's say you do pour an, on an exam right if you do pour on an exam then it's kind of like you can't beat yourself up about it because clearly just the information just kind of didn't click and if you do well then it's kind of like wow like all of this studying and hard work and no life that you had for the weekend really pays off and that's the feeling that I like to achieve after I take a test because I left that exam and the first words that came out of my mouth were that shit was easy. That shit was really easy. And a lot of people were looking at me like, oh my God, like it wasn't that easy. It was a lot easier than the first exam. And I'm just like, in my own mind, sometimes I keep my mouth closed, but in my mind, I'm just like, y'all just have no idea how much time I truly put into this exam. And not only this exam, but it's every single exam that I have, every single quiz, I always dedicate my weekend, week, week, day, any time available that I have that I'm not working or spending time with my loved ones, then that's when I put in all my work. And the true trick to this is balance, you guys. It's balance, balance, balance. Whether you're a planner, whether you're a mental planner, you know, you need a notebook, you need an actual calendar to mark down the dates that you need to study and or whatever works for you. You know, it's just all about finding that niche that's good for you. For me personally, I've tried using a planner and that does not work for me because I forget to either write the stuff down or I either forget to even open the planner and see what I had to do for that day. So to me, I just give myself little daily reminders when I wake up in the morning. First thing I tell myself is, okay, you have to do this, 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 this. And then that's just how it works. You know, not everybody's the same. But as far as my day goes today, like I was saying, I had a test and it was rough. I mean, not rough, the day was rough because I just, I was really tired. You know, I woke up, had a little bit of an energy drink that really got me through the day. Was in class from nine o'clock till about um, 11.50. And then we have lab that starts at 12.30 and ends at 2.20. And you know, the most important thing about lab is to really, really utilize that time and not sit there on your phone, not be talking with your friends. You know, just that, that stuff you can leave it at home. Last time I checked, you're not paying good money or you didn't receive a scholarship or whatever it is, but you're, you're not wasting your time when you're in school. That that should be the time to learn and you should be excited to learn. I mean, this is your career. This is what you're going for. And if you, you're taking care of a human being, okay? You're not taking care of, 
I don't know. You're just, you're taking care of a human being in life. It's in your hands, literally. So why not be the best nurse and best student nurse? You never want to be one of those uh, students that always says, oh, well, you know, C's get degree. Well, sorry to break it to you, but a C is not okay in nursing school because in our school and in most schools, as a nursing student, a 76 under, 76 and under is actually failing. You are failing at that point, okay? So it's kind of like, why do you want to be the bare minimum student? Yeah, sure, you still get that degree, but are you going to be a competent nurse? Sure, you know, you get always trained for your position and things like that, but you still shouldn't have the mindset of always being the bare minimum. I feel like in life, you should always strive for success and be the best that you can be. If being the best that you can be is a B plus or B minus student, then be that best. But don't don't just automatically put yourself in that mindset to say, oh, okay, you know, I, at least I passed the test. No, no, like, no, that is not the right mindset, you know. As your days go, it's all about, like I said, the work that you put in and also your mind, body, and spirit really, truly work together. So why not be a positive being and everything positive will come right along. And, you know, even if you have to fake it till you make it, do whatever it takes. But I just don't like to hear that, you know, that's, that could just be me. And I just really don't think that it's appropriate as a nursing student to just be like, okay, you know, I'm just going to be the bare minimum student and I'm just going to pass, get my degree. Okay, that's all cool and dandy. But when you're sitting there and your patient is de-statting on you and you have no idea what to do, you can try to, and you try to look back in your mind of that thing that you learned in nursing school and you can't even remember, you have nobody but to blame but yourself. Or when you're taking down the NCLEX, okay? School prepares, prepares, prepares you, I'm sorry, prepares you for the NCLEX. And you're sitting down that NCLEX question. You can't remember a dang thing that you were, that you learned in school because you were that bare minimum student. Regardless of that, of even all that that I said, you always want to strive, strive to be the best version of yourself. You should always utilize each day to become the best version of yourself. Always. Always and forever. That is my motto. My also motto is, you know, just do it like Nike because it's like you have all this work in front of you, all these books that you need to read. And honestly, the things become easier when you actually just start to do it. You put your foot down, open that book, and just start reading and absorbing the information. You signed up for this, you guys. You know, so stay strong, study hard. If you have any finals coming up, midterms, um, you know, study as hard as you can and do the best that you can. And don't, don't, you know, don't settle for less for yourself, for anything in life. For your goals just you know strive for the best person that you can be if y'all have any questions on how to do a head to chest assessment any of the location findings any of the the documentation of verbalization you know just make sure to subscribe to our page um well not subscribe because you'd already be subscribed if you're looking at this but um subscribe to our page if you're not anyways because i think this is going to be on a youtube page but um just you know um email us we're happy to help people. We're doing this to just help others that are in nursing school as well as our vegetarian blog, vegan blog. It's just to show people and, you know, create awareness about all these things that we do uh, discuss as nursing students and what we struggle with. So, you know, nothing's a stupid question. If you need any help on ABGs, anything like that, like, don't hesitate to, you know, contact us. All right, so we'll check y'all out later. NoMeatGeeks.com. Be formless, shapeless, 